Hey guys, this is Dr. Nishimo. There are a lot of tools within Wizard Software Builder that allows you to do so many things in terms of designs, in terms of functionalities, and so on. Some of the tools are easy to use, that is, they are straightforward to configure, and some of them are not so clear on what they can be used for. So, in today's tutorial, I'm tackling or I'm having a look at the Kev tools and with Google Builder. My focus is going to be on these two tools that is the Kev here and then there's Kev close to here. In subsequent videos, I might look at the Kev test and other ones as well. So, so the Kev tool is basically a line tool that allows you to draw lines using points. So you click on the two, you then get a chance to be able to draw lines using points. That is basically what the Kev2 does. Now, when you have the two activated and you are using points to go about drawing that line, you notice that in this case, I might consider this particular um, drawing to be done how do you get rid of this particular line or point which is still attached to the line all you simply do is hit on the escape to on the keyboard and this is going to release um, the two or the pointer for you so let me just delete this so we do it again i click on the curve two i click by drawing points i click on the first point i click on the second point i click on the next point next point next point now, it is not necessary or mandatory for me to have this as a closed um, diagram. I can simply hit on escape and as you can see, I have my line over here. The cool thing about this is in case you want to tweak um, whatever design you have here to something else, you can click on it and then you come to the format section and then you have edit point. So the edit point allows you to grab the point and then move them to where you would want to be able to move them to. So you can change their position, you can change um, how you want them to look and so on. And then you can also perform other um, functions to it as well. Now, aside that, if you double click on this, it brings you to the properties where you have some basic um, configurations you can do. So the description is basically about what is here. Now, anti-alias improves upon the graphic um, here. So how smooth it is going to be is basically what this is doing. So if you have it checked, then that is going to happen for you. Then you have fill mode. Now, this is not activated because I haven't gotten the kev to to a certain mode in which this is going to be activated. So it is actually set to default solid and I can't change that now. However, the stroke or which what you may consider the border or the line uh, can be changed. You can change the type of it as well as the color and then the size of it. So if I want to increase the thickness, I can go ahead to do that. And as you can see, this is a diagram. So one may ask, in what instance would you want to be using such a tool? So if you want to have diagrams that you can easily draw with your hand or your cursor, then you might want to use this too. Now, aside this two is the next one, which is the curve close. So it's basically the same two. This time around, the curve is going to be closed. So as you can see, this is an open um, curve. This is going to be closed. So if I click on my first point and I begin to move my cursor, you notice that after creating my second point, it automatically creates a closed um, diagram. I can go ahead to click and create more um, points that is if I want or I can simply hit on escape and then I have this diagram however as you can see this is closed unlike this one which is open if I want to be able to tweak or edit any of the sides or the points here I simply click on it and then come to edit points then I can move this about as is over here I can just go ahead to change it let me just yeah 
and I can also go ahead to create more points. So all I have to do is just once you move the cursor in here, you get this um, arrow change to this. That's a pointer change to this. You click on it, and then you have your point over there. Um, aside that, if you want to also change the properties of it, you can come here. So as you can see, this was an open um, curve. This is a closed one. So this allows me to be able to change the color this has created. So I can simply go ahead to select a color to fill in here. So you can see that and I can come here to change the stroke as well to something solid. And yeah, so I can then just change the color of this to maybe red so it becomes visible. So basically, these two tools and Wizard Web Builder gives you some flexibility in being able to draw your own diagrams or have some designs which will be a little bit difficult um, to achieve you know, um, in the application. So you have these tools to assist you to do that. And also maybe some um, designs you would have needed a graphic design to, to be able to do that before importing them into the application. It's actually also easier for you to have that done directly in the application. So you don't have to, you know, be switching programs. So basically this tutorial is to touch on the curve tools. That is the curve, open curve, and then a closed curve too. So you can go ahead to try them in your own project and let me know your thoughts about it. So in different videos, I'll be looking at the other options that are available in this particular application. So thank you very much for watching. In case you are new to this channel, kindly go ahead and hit on the subscribe button and then don't forget to hit on the bell so that anytime there's a new video you get to see it once again my name is Dr. Nishmil i'll see you in the next one